What's up everyone? It's TRF with another video and we are now unboxing the Nike Zoom Cage 2. This model is going to be discontinued pretty soon so I thought with all the pairs being sold on a discounted price might as well um, do a quick unboxing. The, as you can see the US dollars MSRP is 130 Okay, the lighting isn't super good right now, but it's a shade lighter and brighter than the orange Nike box in my hand right now. And it is with the drag on on the upper. The tongue here is also pretty cool. I really like uh, this 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 uh, texture. It reminds me of some of the Adidas tubulars. In that sense, but this is feeling very cheap. The the the, the labeling it's like screen printed. Yeah, but honestly, I'm kind of sad that I'm basically gonna get try the shoe the first time for the first time when it's getting discontinued and the the new models out. I like this shoe. It looks sort of bulky on feet, but it also looks pretty uh, pretty uh, productive in the sense that it gets the job done. By its looks, I don't really know yet. That's kind of why I'm doing this playtest and unboxing. But one thing I'd like to point out it was kind of funny how no no one called out Nike for copying New Balance like totally, because in Australia, 2015, they debuted this shoe in the OG Volt colorway, and around this heel mouth area, they had this uh, heathered Volt, and this like mystic type uh, print on it kind of like leopard print and that was the same thing that Roundish wore in his 2014 New Balance MC996 V1s I actually have that pair it's a solid shoe until after a while I could do a review on that one too maybe if you guys are searching for pairs like that on eBay since I know the third one is pretty popular but yeah it's it's kind of unfortunate Skechers gets ripped for uh, copying Nike but I mean copying yeah basically everyone but Nike didn't get any uh, hate for that. They totally stole the colorway. Uh, in the link in the description, maybe I could point out more stuff like that if you guys are interested. This orange colorway has a nice silhouette with the white on the midsole to make it very uh, similar to the Metacon trainers. And they have the nice white Nike swoosh too to have that nice pop. But hold on actually everyone. One funny thing about this shoe is the heel cup is a defect, as you can see. Okay, so, as I was saying before, I feel like the heel cup here has been um, pretty deformed compared to how the pictures show it, since they're supposed to both be symmetrical. But as you can see here, this one lumps upwards, and they just don't look even in my opinion. And another... Uh, issue I found other than the fact that the support might not be uniform throughout your whole ankle or like heel cup is that this Nike Zoom right here it looks like a nice detail and all but if you look at it this traction is super thin it is at most two millimeters of traction I think that's totally not enough when you want to play tennis and this thing is basically supposed to be like a part of the heel the midsole part like this but in actuality it's going to be basically uh, the outsole in this case a lot of it's going to get burned through when you wear it down oh yeah since I haven't really had any Nike tennis shoes before uh, with a warranty I didn't know that the cards are specific to the zoom cage too it's cool that Nike specializes for that they actually make an effort to print it out. They actually emphasize all the words in bold too. Um, I don't think this card's the main reason why this main reason why this card isn't too important. It's primarily because they want they care about the shoe. Honestly, they just they want to know if you can wear through the shoe, so that this foam aspect that's on the other side, the outside, is visible. If you want to use this warranty. So you just gotta wear through this thing and you'll be good to go. If you honestly need a card, I could uh, Xerox this maybe and post it on my channel in the link in the description below. Please comment if you need that. And 
Honestly, I think this shoe will last me uh, maybe two months, two, three months, depending on how long I play. Uh, the outsole isn't too, uh, the threads aren't too deep, so I don't think they can withstand the hardcore too long. Okay, so, um, one more thing I also wanted to hit up on is the texture of this shoe. A lot of people say it's very comfortable, but I just like to point out similarities of it across to different models, even from different brands, in fact. Like, this aspect here on the medial side, it doesn't look very protective. It's, there's no really any grip on the uh, on the uh, hard court if you were to uh, like place your foot on it, but it's very sturdy. If you press on it, you can't really indent it, unlike the rest of the, the, the shoe. This shoe um, is generally pretty sound. It reminds me of a uh, Wilson Rush Pro met uh, a barricade, honestly, because the material seems very modernized, but I just hope that my toe won't... It's, I know it's very thick here, but I just feel like my toe might rip this open. And I, one little detail I want to point out, see if you can we can get this on. There's like little perforations. I'm not sure if the camera can pick it up. But yeah, there's little perforations right over here. It's pretty cool. Hopefully that actually works. I have no idea if the tip of my toes need it, but you never know. And yeah, but personally, I, I bought this shoe because I actually got this for only $60. Crazy, huh? Considering that a lot of the cheap end models for Nike are typically uh, 50 or 55 actually so you just pay five dollars more for a shoe that retails over double if not the same price and yeah I thought it was a very cushioned looking shoe it was supposed to be very comfortable it looks kind of like the Metacon trainer honestly and yeah I hope it's at least comfortable if not it'll hopefully last me a while but all in all the voucher, which is supposed to be $130, the MSRP, that it retails for full price, will be a good compensation, and maybe I can get a pair of Vapors, or even try the Ultra Reacts, that cost pretty high up there. So yeah, I'll uh, make a follow-up video pretty soon, hopefully, and thanks for everyone who watched. Please uh, hit that like button and subscribe, I have a lot more content that I'd like to post. But your support's really important. So that's all. Thank you so much.